the hole hooked up. Let's go. Get comfortable. What's going on guys? We decided to come out kind of last minute here. It's about 12 o'clock and uh, we're gonna try to get it in for about four hours, a little mini trip. Oh, I saw my buddy Ariel selling bait and um, he's always out here in Key Biscayne. He hooked us up. We're gonna head out straight to the county wrecks. So we're gonna start on the uh, south side of where all these wrecks start and just catch that north, northwest drift coming in. Make some adjustments as we're bumping along and try to find the fish. If we can't find the fish, you know what time it is that spot lock and start sitting on top of different wrecks and trying to figure out exactly where these fish are holding. But the drift is always first, covered ground, try to figure out where these fish are. Let's see what we can come across. Okay, Cole's hooked up, 40 feet of water. Yellow tail or a mutton. Rod tip, Timmy. Could be a mangy. Tiny. Or a mutton. It's a mutton, but tiny. Oh, 40 feet of water, let's go. All right, Cole on the first short of the day, not bad. While we're rigging up, she wanted to get down. <laughs> I understand. Whew. We will take a little 16 inch mutton to start the day. Let's see what we come across. Stay tuned. That's a nice hunk. All right, just got out here to the county Rex. We're gonna go ahead and set up a drift on the south side and uh, it looks like we have a west drift. So we're just trying to find a uh, a set of wrecks that runs east to west so we can set up a nice long drift and hit you know a decent area let's see what we come across all right guys we figured out the drift it's pretty much just going straight west which kind of makes it challenging but we found ourselves a little area of scattered wrecks that kind of run east to west so we're just going to hit that take it into the west and then just set back up got two bottom lines out nicole's running a bottom rod i'm running a bottom rod and i'm going to set up a flat line right now with a little uh wire leader let's see if i can get some uh, mackerel or something that. All right, Cole missed that hit. Came back and hit mine, I guess. Not really fighting like a mutton, so let's see. All right, another small one. At least we're getting hit, but not what we're looking for. ever seen something like this I'm gonna have to look that one up because I got no idea this dude has the mouth of a snook the body of a I don't even know body of a gar a pike and then he's got these crazy like neon colors pretty insane looking I'm gonna put him back so we don't hurt him let me know if you know what it is leave a comment Look, yeah, don't put your ass in my fish tank. All right, guys, we're gonna make a little bit of a move here. We've caught like six undersized mutton fishing like 70 feet of water. So we're gonna go hit some deep wrecks out in like 180, 220, 120. See if the size changes at all. It's been kind of slow, but at least we're catching fish, you know? Not always gonna get the big ones, but as long as we're getting tight, it's fun. Hundred and thirty feet, drifting over sand, should be a mutton. Mm -hmm. oh, there's all kinds of uh, marks on top of the on top of that wreck. So it might be a hammerjack. Like mm -hmm. I think it's a mutton. It's too many small. Oh, another small mutton. I don't know which one of you guys are out here catching all the big muttons, but. You need to leave some for us. 
Oh, I'm getting hit. There you are. There we go. Hooked up. Another mutton. I can feel him. All right, we found a nice little uh, single wreck out here, isolated in like 120 feet. Small one. I don't know what the hell's going on today, but there's probably number 10 small muttons today. Just now we doubled up. They were small, but we're showing a lot of marks, so we just circled back, made a U-turn, and set back up the same exact drift. Right now we just came over the uh, the wreck, and we can see a bunch of activity on top of it. Hopefully, when we get to the other side of it, get hit on some muttons again. Oh, hooked up. Let's go. Get comfortable. There you go, babe. Take your time. Oh. That's all right. Nicole, as always, with that technique. Let's go. Got a nice mutton on there. I got my clicker on just in case I get whacked. Keeper of the day. Good job, Cole. So Nicole got tired of catching the smaller muttons on the pilchers. She decided to let me see what you got there. Butterfly a little plug from a frozen ballyhoo. She broke the curse, so maybe I gotta listen to her. I might have to pick up mine and do a little switch up, switch a roof. Awesome. Not too bad, a little kink. Make some nice dip.
do that same thing. Just about to get out of here, decided to make that last drift and damn it paid off. Right outside of Key Biscayne. Wow. What a good fight, man. Oh, Pinky. Beautiful fish. Guys, thanks for tuning in. We be fishing in Key Biscayne. Fish with Nicole today, caught a whole bunch of uh, muttons that were undersized, probably like 10 of them. Caught two nice muttons that were keepers. One was 19 and one was 25 inches. And then we caught a few nice kingfish that we're gonna throw on the Traeger and make some uh, fish dip with. Appreciate you guys watching the channel. Make sure to subscribe so you get notified when I put a new episode up. And I'll see you next week with a new episode. Thanks again for watching.